Welcome to episode one of the Big Match Talk Show. I'm your host, Jordan Burst. To my left is our co-host, Conrad Lampracht. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the top 10 picks, our top 10 picks for the UEFA World Cup qualifiers. Remember that these are just our predictions and you do this at your own risk. Let's get right into it. Okay, first game we're bringing to you lovely people is Russia versus Cyprus. Played out in Russia is our home team. Um, Previous game went Russia's way 2-0 um, with five big chances, so it is a fair result um, as one would say. And now our, kind of our stats we're looking for is Cyprus has failed to score in five of their last six matches. Russia has only conceded one goal in the last five games. And these two teams have played five games against each other with all five games ending with Russian clean sheet. So our pick for this game is Russia to keep a clean sheet. I like that pick a lot, Lums. Thank you. The next game we bring in you is Germany versus Liechtenstein. This is a Group J clash with Germany heading up the group at number one while Liechtenstein are stone last with a mere one point to their name. The last time these two teams met it was 2-0 to Germany. They, only, they had 30 shots on target, so to be fair, they should have probably scored a couple more. In this next game, we see Germany playing their B-side just because they've qualified already. And we don't see them coming out that hard. They'll probably put four behind Liechtenstein. So our pick for this is under six and a half with odds of 1.6. Probably the most valuable bet out of the week. Very, very juicy. I like that one a lot. Thanks, Lums. Okay. Our third pick for this um, match day nine is Ireland versus Portugal. A big game. Portugal is one point behind Serbia with a game in hand. So this is a must-win game for Portugal as their next game is actually against Serbia. So this is a one they really, really, really want. Nice. Love Jeez, the like it. Now the previous game between these two nations went like this. Ireland was leading most of the game for 1-0. But thanks to arguably the GOAT, Cristiano Ronaldo scoring a goal in the 87th minute and the 96th minute to make this score 2-1 to Portugal in an absolutely phenomenal game. I would have to give this one to Portugal, even though Ireland did have a good previous game where it was a World Cup friendly against the host nation Qatar. I can't see this going any other way than Portugal and I'm just going to give this one to Cristiano Ronaldo. So my bet for this game is Portugal to win. Game four is between Croatia and Malta. Croatia is currently sitting second in group H, while Malta are currently in fifth. The last game between these two ended in a 3-0 win to Croatia, where they had 67% of the possession, 17 shots where six were on target, where Malta only managed two shots with one on target. I don't see this game going any other way than Croatia to win and to beat them to nil. So my pick is Croatia to win to nil. Okay, game five we're bringing to you lovely specimens is all the way from group F. Now, don't let that fool you. The game is Moldova versus Scotland. It's not a group F type of game, but this is what we are looking at right now. So, standings are Scotland are trying to secure second spot on the log with Moldova kind of rock bottom with one point after eight games. They are not playing for much. Um, previous game went Scotland's way with a 1 0 win. Um, however, they, they did miss five big opportunities, so that score could easily have been bigger. We do not see any other way than Scotland winning this game quite easily. Game 6 of Match Day 9 picks is coming to you from Group F. We have the nation of Austria at home playing against Israel. Now what are these two teams playing for? What's the gist? What's going on? So Austria is unfortunately out of the World Cup. They did lose to Denmark 1-0 in their previous encounter and their hopes are no longer alive. Now Israel their hopes are alive. <laughs> Extremely alive. They are very much alive. Their previous game was actually a 5-2 win for the Israel nation. 
Over Austria. Over Austria, okay. um, which is a lot of goals. So this game is all or nothing for Israel. They've got to throw the kitchen sink in Austria. I'm just here to play around, kick the ball around. Now they have only scored seven goals in their last six games, which is not a lot. But they do have Marku Arnautovic returning. So you could expect maybe goal from the man. So our pick for this game is over one and a half goals to hit. Game 7 of our match day 9 picks is a massive clash. It's two titans. It is the match where the winner basically guarantees automatic qualification into the next World Cup in Qatar. This match is between the nations of Italy at home versus Switzerland. Let's jump straight into the previous game. It was a 0-0, 0-0. No -no, Very much a boring game, but the stats tell a different story. Man of the match, Jan Sommer, the Swiss goalkeeper. Why is that? Why is that? Italy had three missed big chances. What is a big chance, Lums? A big chance is where a team is expected to score a goal. Like a one-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper. Exactly, okay. exactly. Now, due to that fact, and the fact that Granit Xhaka is unavailable for this game, Italy are at home. I expect a big, big push from them. I just don't think Switzerland is good enough. So I'm going to back Italy to take the win. I like it. Game 8 of our predictions are between Estonia and Belgium. Belgium being the home team, they are number 1 in Group E, while Estonia are currently ranked 5th in the group. And actually, um, the number one ranked FIFA team in the world at the moment is Belgium. The last game between Belgium and Estonia saw a 5-2 scoreline. Seven goals total in the game. Belgium put past Estonia five. Estonia had two of their own. We don't expect much different in this game. Back in, back in Belgium to score probably more than three goals. However, we're going quite conservative with our prediction. Our prediction being total goals over two and a half at odds of 1.28. Moving swiftly on to Game 9. Game 9 sees Montenegro at home take on the mighty Netherlands. The Orange Crusaders, some might call them. In their last encounter, Netherlands thumped them 4-0. This put Netherlands to the top of the log, number 1. Following closely behind them is Norway and Turkey. So Netherlands really need to thump Montenegro to keep their lead. In the last game between Montenegro and Netherlands, Netherlands managed a healthy 72% possession. Jeez! As well as 28 shots. Montenegro only managing 4 shots and 1 on target. We just don't see this going any other way than a, than a very, very confident win for Netherlands. We're going quite conservative here on our prediction. Just say Netherlands to win at odds of 1.28 to mitigate some risk. I like that. And finally, our last prediction, prediction number 10, game number 10, it's Wales versus Belarus. This is a Group E clash with Wales sitting at third, Belarus stone last at five. However, the last time these two played, the scoreline was 3-2 to Wales. However, this didn't quite depict what the game was. Um, Wales had quite a lot of possession with 66%, 66% um, and they had 17 shots with seven on target. I honestly don't see this going any other way than a Wales win. They might have, the scoreline might have depicted something else in the last game. I'm going to back Wales to win this and over one and a half goals with the odds of 1.36. Up the Welsh. And that about wraps up match day nine for the UEFA World Cup qualifying picks. I must say, I think we've got 10 very, very healthy picks on there. We spent quite a lot of time doing those. Yeah. The total odds for an accumulator with those 10 is 27.78. So if you wager 100 Rand, you're looking at about 3,000 Rand payout. Um, let us know in the comments if you tail or fade our bets, if you agree with them or if you don't. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that uh, little bell notification so you get notified for our next predictions. And good luck out there. That's it for myself, Jordan Burrs. And Conrad Lamprecht. Peace.